Welcome, my name is Gordon and in these videos we will go from zero to hero in Flare. Flare is a free animation tool that allows you to bring your apps and games to life by making animations easy. Not only that, it also allows you to integrate your animations in such a way that you can modify them at runtime. In these videos we will be going in depth into the Flare editor. You don't require any previous experience in Flare, animation or design to follow along as we will be covering everything from the layouts of the editor all the way to our final animation. I will be explaining the editing tools, methodologies, as well as tips and tricks as we make two vector animations. The first is a very simple progress animation or loading animation that only uses simple shapes. And the second is a bit more stylized. I call it Kid Hero. You can see in the corner there's this kid sitting looking sad and his shadow stretches to him as a hero with his cape swaying in the wind. I purposely created these two animations for the course to showcase specific tooling and workflows. The circular progress indicator might seem boring in comparison to the kit hero. However, the loading animation covers a lot of essentials while also covering a lot of the tips to speed up your workflow when it comes to grouping nodes together. My intention with this course is that at the end you'll say, this is easy, because it actually is. If that's not the case, then please leave a bad review and tell me why as I would like to improve making tutorials. I do want to emphasize the following. At the end, you might very well say that using the software is easy. But please note that animation and design is not necessarily easy. Everyone is unique with their own talents. It might come easy to you or it might not. But what most designers, artists and any creative will tell you is that it requires hard work. It took me time to make these animations you see in this video and it took a lot of tweaking and testing. Just as it will take you effort, time and a lot of tweaking and experimenting for you to make your own. So keep pushing and just remember to make the process fun for yourself.